I put up this video to see if I could get some help identifying some trees on my farm. Um, I know what uh, most of the trees are, I've, I've identified them, but I need some help with a few varieties uh, of oak and coniferous trees and I will run around and show you the trees and maybe you can comment below and tell me what you think. Okay, so I know we have some oaks here. Here's an oak that's growing under this live oak. Um, great, I think that's I think that's poison ivy. Maybe somebody can identify that. I'm terribly allergic to it and I'm pretty sure that's what's been getting me. Um, so these oaks, you can see those leaves quite clearly, are plentiful under here. And I think that's a live oak. Somebody can confirm that. I'm, I'm almost positive, yep. So I'll dig that up and replant it. I'll take tips on that as well. Um, but again, what does this type of oak? That's a live oak. How about this over here? I've been told that's a willow oak. But I'm not sure with those long wispy leaves. Here's another one. That looks like it might be, I can't tell, either a live oak or a, one of those big fiddle leaf looking trees. Um, this is another tree right here that I'd like to identify. This one is a very thorny tree. Lots of very long thorns when it matures. Uh, like these. You can see that all over it. And I had one of these die that was over there by the barn and they've been springing up after that, after I lost that one, they've been springing up all over the farm. Okay. So, moving on. I'd like to know what these trees over here, there's a stand of them. And they, yeah, they've grown in a cluster here. how well you can see these, but I'll get up close and give a, a look at the leaves. You see that? They almost grow like, uh, well, like pecan trees do as far as the foliage. Let's see if I can get a close up of some leaves. There we go. Right, and then here's another one back here. You see those very large spade leaves? I'd like to know what that is. That's a beautiful tree. I love this type of leaf. There's the bark. Okay, I'll take you all the way around here. Uh, to a coniferous tree, and we'll stop along the way. Here's one I, I'm pretty sure I planted this one, so I'm pretty sure it's called a red bud. But we can get a confirmation on that. I'll try to number these trees in annotations so that you all can identify them. Here's another one I'd like to identify. Is that a some kind of spruce? It's not like the other pine on my property. There's the bark. And there's one more over here that I'd like to identify. I've got silver maples everywhere. I don't much care for those. And the way their roots pile up and on the sandy soil here. I'd like to identify that one right there. Growing next to my pump house. It's a beautiful tree. It's beautiful in the spring and in the fall with the bright colors. There's the leaves. The leaves. Let's see. Here's another one of those large uh, heart-shaped or spade-shaped 
leaf trees that it's similar uh, foliage to the to the red bud. And this is another one of those thorny trees that I was looking to ID. One more over here that I'm curious about. It's this tree. It recently flowered and the fragrance was really, really nice and really strong like a tea olive. But I've never known what the name of this species is. Okay. And that's about it for now. Help me out if you can. Leave comments below, uh, identification and suggestions as to care and maintenance. I appreciate it. Oh, there's one of my favorites, the flying dragon. Oh, and I'd like to identify this as well. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll look at the, the leaves and the bark. Now these just kind of grow like weeds and I let them grow. There's another one over here that I let grow. Okay, thanks YouTubers. Oh! <laughs> Wait, here's one. I know that this is called a bay magnolia, but I'd like to make sure of that. Beautiful. Just like magnolia, with the flowers and the fragrance. But I'd like to know for sure what this is. I've always thought it was bay. The leaves are good for cooking on this. There's quite a few of them here. But is that in fact a bay? And is it a, one of many varieties? Any, any ideas will be useful. Thank you.